out of the shower, so excuse me. But um, I just wanted to say that I hope you guys have a good week. And um, I'm going to show you guys how I do my um, the chore chart for the kids in the house. Because like we said, we have seven kids. One of them is too small to do anything. But the other ones, and the five and six year old, they don't do anything either. They just have to make their bed. But um, the other kids do do stuff. So I wanted to show you guys that. But we're going to, I'm going to show you guys like the one, I'm already erasing it. But you guys could see um, how it looks. And then usually in the middle of the month, I do it for the next month already. So this was September and October, and it's already next month. It, it only went to the 19th, the 19th. So we're already getting there soon. And right now that I have time, I want to do it. And it helps a lot because usually, well, before, like we started this maybe like five months ago or six months ago. And before that, um, the kids we would just oh throw out the trash in this one and then i felt like we were calling one of the kids more than the other ones which i think adam adam was helping us more than everybody and it just wasn't right because i think everybody needs to do the same amount of work here but yeah i'm gonna show you guys how i do it okay so i'm gonna start by putting everything that they have so the restroom restroom trash um pick up after dogs pick up after dogs room take and bring the trash to the street Kitchen trash. Um, what else do they have? Yard work. Um, what else is it, Rachel? Restroom, restroom trash, pick up after dogs, room. Take and bring the trash, um, yard work. Mm -hmm. Is that, oh, the mail. The mail. Let me find that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, and the mail. And then I color code everything. And it changes because the kids are getting, and I want them to learn how to read better. So um, they would already know, like, the yard work, I would put green. And then the dog shit, I would put um, brown. And like that I would try to color code it and um so they already got in the habit like okay so if it's green then that means the the yard and that um so every month I always change it because I don't want them to be lazy I want them to actually read the words so let's see restroom will be orange this month the restroom trash will be yellow Dogs will be purple. Their room is pink, and I forgot one to make their bed. That's every day. Okay, um, take and bring the trash will be dark blue. Um, the mail can be. I mean, the kitchen trash can be this lighter green. Um, yard work can be black. We really need to go get nails. The mail could be brown. And I forgot to make a bed. So I'm going to add that in. And then I try to make put like a joke or a quote or like something inspirational or a scripture at the bottom. So right now I'll do that. Mm, I haven't used red, so I'll put make bed in red. It looks 
so far. I wrote um, bigger than I usually do, so I didn't have much space down here, but I just put this. Whatever you are, be a good one. And then I'm going to start over here. And I'm going to put, so it's going to be October slash November, because it's going to be the rest of October and then the couple weeks of November. So I'm going to take away the Halloween stuff, even though Halloween hasn't passed yet. But I'm going to take away the Halloween stuff. And um, I don't know how the hell I'm going to draw a turkey or something, but we'll see. Okay, so this is my deformed turkey that I did. And then this was yesterday, so here it's basically. And um, I try to make it like, okay, so Thursdays and Fridays are the days um, that they take the trash out to the street. So one week it is, let's see, it's blue. So it's um, Adam and Jakey, and Adam and Jakey, they take it out on Thursday and they bring it in on Friday, and then the next week it's gonna be Ewi and Jakey, like that, it's the pattern. And then um, we have Halloween on the 31st, so that's like a free day, they don't have to do anything except for take the trash out, and it's gonna be Adam and Jakey. And then um, Ewi's birthday's on the 30th, so um, they still have chores to do during the day though but um stuff like that and then usually since over here you, you notice like wednesday thursday friday saturday are usually the days that they do more stuff um i had to put i usually do reading on mondays wednesdays and fridays or sundays tuesdays and thursday something like that but um since there's a i feel like there's so much this way and over here they're not really doing anything so as long as they're reading three times a week so um sunday monday and tuesdays they're gonna have to read for 20 minutes each and um, one time this guy came and he's like, um, does this really work for you guys? Yeah, it does. It does work for us. Um, but anyway, um, that's the way it is. And then over here, like Kayla's not home. Every Wednesday she does something. So she's not here. So I move, so it's a lot for her. I know she has, they give her a lot of homework and they give her stuff. So um, she, on Wednesdays, all she has to do, if you notice, all she has to do is make her bed. So um, she has her stuff on Thursdays, but yeah, every month is kind of different, but this is how it looks. But, um, yeah, I just thought I would do this. I'm not going to do it every month, but I just wanted to show you guys that. I know everybody has their own way of doing chores or sometimes they don't, nobody has their kids do chores, but in this house we do chores. If you're old enough to make a mess, then you're old enough to clean it up. And um uh, the kids they're they're pretty good about it. It works. It's a good system Like I said, it's six months already that we've been doing this and I feel that it's a really good idea and it's really good um, system and um, The kids at the beginning they oh I forgot and I forgot so what we started doing is well if they forgot when they ask us for something We're gonna forget too. So now they don't forget that much, but um, Yeah, it's, I really like it and it um, shows them some responsibility, you know So if they want to go to the movies or they want to do stuff the last week actually one of them asked to go to the movies and i said do you think that you deserve to go to the movies like those things need to be earned you don't just go to the movies because oh your friend's going i said no so he wasn't able to go to the movies last week because his grades were not good and um yeah but anyways i just feel like it shows them how to be responsible so thank you guys for watching and i know this is a little different video but i just thought i would show you guys um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.